Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? Is everybody having a good week, I hope? Oh my goodness, what a week. Well, I thought we'd do something different and since it's Jolly July, I thought we would, Molly says hi, go with Heaven and Nature by Teresa Coger. And yeah. So I've already kind of started this. I'm up here in this corner right in here. So we will be starting right there. So what's everybody up to? Is anybody going to have a special thing for 4th of July? Or are you not even in our country? Uh, you know, I have such a diversification of people. Oh. Molly Hush. That, you know... Not everybody's celebrating the 4th of July. You might be in Canada or you might be way overseas somewhere. Well, I'm not planning on doing anything but working. I have to work today, tomorrow. Now, mind you, here, here's another idea thing. Today is Thursday, but tomorrow I have to work 9 to 5 and... Then, um, Saturday, I have to work 11 to 5. So, I thought that I would do this video on Thursday. And I don't know if I'm going to upload it on Thursday or if I'm going to upload it on Friday. I just frankly don't think I'm going to have time to upload it, so I might just do it. Thursday instead of a Friday stitch with me. How's that? Will that work? Oh, geez. This is on uh, 16 count. I don't know if it's still on here. Hang on. It's 16 count country latte? Mocha latte? I, I'm not sure. It's on the bag and the bag is over there somewhere. How's that? But I do know it's 16 count, and I know it's the Winchlet Country line, because I bought some of that. I was going to uh, get out Autumn Quakers, Quaker, Quaker Autumn, Autumn Quaker, you know, I have a problem with that. Well, I was trying to find the threads, you know, so I could start, and they don't match up, so it was going to be too much of a hassle, so it just wasn't happening for me. I tell you, yesterday was freaking nuts. People were streaming in here. I mean, we usually we don't have traffic, but just it didn't quit until I closed the door at ten o'clock. I was just frankly done. So I don't know how today's gonna go. We finally got another person to work, so they should be there by either 3.30 or or 2.30. So, we'll, we'll see how well that all turns out. But I don't know if it will be busy or not busy or I just don't know what to expect. So, I'm just kind of playing it by ear. Oh, the color, color, sorry. I know, sparkly squirrel again. Okay, this is 221 for this. And on this... I don't know if I can get to it. Hang on. Hang in there. It's here somewhere. They did have the uh, DMC conversion. These are two D DMCs, of course, but the rest of it is converted to DMC. I wish she'd done all her patterns like that, but yeah, I can go look it up. <coughs> oh, man. But yesterday... And it was just me, and of course I had my boss until 6. Got really quiet about 6 o'clock. But, say, 6.30 or so, they were still pouring in. And they weren't pouring in necessarily to us, but I mean into the town. So, I don't know, because we're like, I was trying to explain this to my daughter this morning, that you have to come through there. To get to other places in Colorado. So, not everybody was coming where we're at. 
But yeah, it's not a good weekend. So I guess we're expecting it to be busy this weekend. I, I just don't know. Don't know. And I hate not knowing. Okay, tell me. Is it going to be busy? Not be busy. What's, what's it going to be like? But nobody can explain it to you. You just got to live through it. I'm just thankful I do not have to cook this weekend. Well, you know, for like the hordes of people that come through. Now, I can cook for me, but... And that's one thing, but... Jeez Louise. And did you notice I threaded the other the needles so you don't have to live through me threading my needle but I just felt like working on this like I said I'm trying to pick some things that I haven't worked on so we will see hopefully that'll be enough for two and the next color is green so yeah, it's it's been a special, I don't know, special moment. I had to cut the thread there, so I'll have to fix that. But we're good. I just had this one little corner started, so we will see. Hang on, I want to make sure I'm doing the right thing. I just had that. Oh, is 3363. Three. Yes, okay, just making sure. I was going off of what the other one looked like. But I hadn't done much of this. I just, I don't know. I got it at the wrong time. And like I said, I am not much on stitching on Christmas stuff. But I figured since it was Jolly July, we'll just, we'll just do it. I mean, shoot. I haven't touched it since I practically got it. And... Sorry, I'm looking to make sure I'm doing everything right. Okay, there's three of those. It's kind of a distance. I'm used to having my uh, pattern attached here. So it's kind of hard to go back and forth after you get used to it. Oh, it's right there. I don't have to pick it up. Put it down. Pick it up. Put it down. Look at it four times. Yeah, I tend to do that. I think my daughters, they, know, they thought they would go camping. I'm like, yeah, right. Because they're in the county. There won't be a, a camping spot for the whole weekend. After we get through past today and tomorrow. So, just not happening. It's easier to go camping in the middle of the week than it is, you know, on the weekend because everybody comes from Denver and people are on vacation and whoops sorry I was trying to get that sucker tapped in there I decided to use a plastic plastic hoop today instead of one of the bamboo ones because I just could not deal today I just want to look again okay Make sure everything was going copacetic here. I get to talking and then I forget where I'm to stitch. I didn't watch much floss tube last night. Did finally get my nails done. <laughs> Jeez, what'd that take, three weeks? I'm telling you, you get me off my schedule and I am one screwed up puppy. So. That's just the way I am. I need a schedule. But, you know, it's funny, I don't need a schedule for, for stitching. When I'm working, I need a schedule. And need to do everything right down the line. I don't know. It's weird. So this is why I'm not so... Gotta do everything, you know, like that when I'm stitching. Because I get too much of that crap at work. So, it's supposed to relax you, you know? I like it. It is. You know, you know. Oh, geez. So. And I think they're going to have the fireworks. They're planning on it this weekend. But, uh. Not real sure. So far, so good. It is supposed to rain this weekend. But when it they say it's going to rain, it rains and then it's gone. And then it rains. Then it's gone. 
but it never rains for like torrential downpours like we had in Kansas and Illinois and you know for days and stuff it it doesn't do that here which is fine with me that works okay hang on got to get rid of this one see aren't you glad I had these things already threaded so yeah I thought it would go so much faster take five minutes and thread three threads god knows we have enough needles I think I've been through my uh peacemaker needles so yeah I've gone through every one of them uh, but I just had this one little area that I could put a couple of these and call it good and then I can get to working on the outside edge I don't know right now I'm into death by cross stitch don't even ask it's actually going well so I told you if I just leave it alone long enough I I just it'll be better but God I mean it was just intense I've got to learn how to take things as a section and not as a whole because if you look at the whole of death by cross stitch it's just it's not there's just too much to do just too much and uh, yeah so I'm just taking it one section at a time and you know for now that's working for me yeah I know I'm going up and down again I swear some days somebody was asking if I stitch what is it called by the sewing method usually I do but these are tight little spaces so that's why I'm going up and down I guess whatever it it deems to be done is what I do but for the most part I do the sewing method and uh, I like that because okay. it it just helps me stitch a lot faster sometimes I just got to lay down some stitches just like back when I painted I just got to put some paint on a canvas I don't care what it's gonna look like in the end I just got to have that feeling and it maybe that's a AMS R thing I, I don't know it just it makes me happy so tis what it is guys okay and yeah, that one goes in the middle now look see that went pretty fast didn't it for a change we did all that in less than 10 minutes there's another green stitch that goes right there so that's why I just left that blank I don't know why I didn't stitch that extra outside stitch but oh well hang in there guys I'm trying to get rid of this thread well if I can just get it to move I'm using those flat little scissors and they're so flat to the ground it's kind of hard to pick up okay we got that one done next okay so now we're back to red let's see if we got enough of this red 221 is one of my favorite reds because it's not too red and it's kind of got like a touch of black to it so it's muted if you will so it's not bright I don't like bright and vid well you can see it's not real bright but I like it and it's comparable to what is that two two one is brick in uh, weak sty works so I don't know I like it for a lot of things I gotta figure out where to be oh there's another one that needs to be there got two single stitches I don't know why I, I get to a certain point and then I just stop sewing what the heck is up with that crap it happens all the time <sighs> but yeah I didn't stitch much yesterday 
at all. And I didn't stitch when I got home. I just was kind of trying to chill out. But these little berries, if you will, they go all the way around this whole thing. And it's kind of hard to, to see, you know, and keep track of. So that's why I was working on the dark part. But it's going to be pretty. But see, we're right here. So I just love this. It's got lots and lots of stuff in it. I love the raccoon. Everybody loves the raccoon. But that house? <laughs> no, yeah. Not, not this week. No. No, we're just going to... No. Just work on this part. We're, we're good. Remember to work on the part, not the whole. Try not to let it overwhelm you. Yes. I haven't worked on... Uh, his eyes on the sparrow and consider the lilies lately, so I kind of OD'd on them on the May. And I'm not having a jolly July. I just thought, well, it's July 2nd. 2nd? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. We're just going to do a Christmas thing. And we have a Christmas thing, and it's already kitted up, you know? Don't have to deal with kidding and thinking just stitch just stitch and be happy oh god yeah so I don't know what today will turn out to be I'm hoping it's busy because it goes faster that way that'll be helpful it will be helpful But I'm sure there'll be plenty of people. And if they can't fit in here, I guess they go someplace else and camp, right? This is the pitfalls of being in a tourist town. Because we really like our, our quiet time, but that hasn't happened in a long time. So it's been kind of off and on, so... Carry on, people. I'm just going to go to work, and y'all can do whatever you want to do. Make sure I don't need another three. Okay, good. We made it with that thread. Look at that go. Hang on. Problem is, about every fourth line, I gotta change out thread. But hey, I got them all threaded. Come on, guys. Wish I had more to talk about. I really do. And I'm using my plastic hoop today. I just could not deal with. The bamboo thing and somebody suggested that I put masking tape around the outside and I've got or not masking painter painters tape and I'm sure that would work so I will I got both so we'll see which works the best you know where am I at we'll see but see now I'm using the the sewing method. But it goes so much faster than up and down, up and down. And I used to do up and down, up and down, until I taught myself how to do this. So. Is that what we're doing? Yes, that is exactly what we're doing. Okay. Whoops. Oh, jeez. How does that not work? Oh, hell. Oh, hell. Hang on. I'm like, why doesn't that work? I started one over. Yep, here we go. Frogging already. Oh, yeah. And I think I just cut that thread and tore it. This kind of stuff just irritates me. Talking away, see? I told you that's what happens 
when I talk away. I just use my needle to pull the stitch up until I can get a hold of it and then just pull it through. But sometimes I cut that thread with that needle, if it, especially if it's too sharp. This is a 28 from um, DMC because I've been through my peacemakers. They're nice needles. I like them because they have the a heavy end on them. Not heavy, but heavier than the DMC. But I've got like 18 packs of them. So I'll have to order some more peacemakers. And I like the peacemakers because they're shorter. So yesterday I started um we're just gonna do this the easy way. I was working on uh, Death by Cross Stitch. I picked it up and I hadn't sewed on it for a long time. It still had, hang on guys, had one of those um, tapestry needles that you get from um, like one of the kits. I could not work with that damn thing. It was just too thick. So I traded it out for a, a 28, I think, DMC. It's going much better, but it is on 14 count. And three strands, so try to thread that little puppy. Hmm. It's been going okay. So we're just going to keep working on it. I think it's going to be my stitch week for it. Because I'm making some progress, so we're just not going to question things and just going to keep moving. Much better. Needed this to all line up here. But I am using two threads over one on 16 count. Just so you know. And yes, I stitch backwards to everybody else. I don't know, it seems left-handed if I go in the opposite direction first. It just can't get it to do. But, you know, you start one thing. You can retrain yourself, but sometimes I I just don't feel like it. I think it's it's fine. Well, we've almost got this one done. Make sure I'm doing it right. Jeez, heaven knows. Heaven knows. Didn't watch I watched a little bit of the midwives, but I kind of turned it off and played some solitaire, just something different. But every once in a while, you got to do something different. Get stuck in a rut. Okay, we're done with the green. Right? Nope. Not. Let me see. Got to look. Hang in there, guys. I got to put the. See, there's the two ends on the thing that I told you about. There's one there. And there is one right there. Did I do it on? Yeah, I did it on the other one. Okay. Just checking. Some days you got to check my work here. Jeez. Oh, telling you. Okay, whoa. Now, if I was doing this on my own, I wouldn't have three needles, but I just thought for the sake of the video, I'd have three needles threaded because it's so much easier. And that way you don't have to be bored to tears, you know, watching me thread the needle and the waiting in between. This sure is nice material. If you're going after some material, it's not too terribly expensive. I think this one's, you know, I mean, anywhere between 20 and $30. But when you look at picture this plus and big pieces, there's some of that stuff, 70 bucks. I'm like, no, I'm not buying $70 worth of fabric. I'm not worthy of $70 worth of fabric for one project. Hmm, no. I better have a whole lot of projects going on that mount. But 
and that's why I stick with the Winchlet Country Line for big, huge projects. And that way, if you want to add some more tea dyed to it, you surely can. You know, I'm sure you can do anything with any of the fabric. But uh, I haven't done too much tea dyeing. Okay, we got that part across. Yep, and then we need to go again. Um, but what I usually do is just uh, get the fabric wet and then stick it in. I sometimes combine coffee and tea. You know, real strong coffee and tea. And then just let it soak for a little bit. And I don't bake it. Never have. My stupid little jiffy oven would probably explode. No. I'm sure it won't explode. But, you know, I just don't do that. And then I just kind of lightly rinse it out. And then I let it uh, dry. And then I iron it. All right, guys. Well, I think that is going to be it for today. I know we didn't get much done. Let me bring you down. There. Well, that's a little intense. But we got those two done. It's not much, but, but it's something. All right, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Y'all have a good rest of your Thursday, and happy 4th of July. God bless, and we'll see you next time. Stay safe, stay healthy, and wash your hands.